In recent months, the Russian semiconductor industry has entered a decisive phase of expansion. Across the nation's technological heartland, in Zelenograd, new production lines are beginning to hum, signaling a renewed drive toward industrial self-reliance. At the center of this movement stands Micron, Russia's largest semiconductor manufacturer, which has implemented a new production line using 180 nanometer process technology at the nearby facilities of NM Tech, known formally as the National Microelectronics Technology Center. This collaboration represents a deliberate effort to relieve pressure on Micron's existing capacity while enabling faster scaling without waiting for next generation fabrication nodes. According to the research and development team at NM Tech, the first silicon crystals produced during test runs have demonstrated full operational success, confirming that the 180 nanometer line works reliably. The company's engineers describe the milestone as a crucial validation of domestic manufacturing resilience. Micron officials have emphasized that, in response to rapidly increasing demand for semiconductors within both the civilian and defense sectors, production will continue to expand through the transfer of technology to NM Tech's updated facilities. Together, these two Zelenograd-based firms have become the cornerstone of Russia's push to secure its microelectronic future. The choice of NM Tech as an expansion partner was an obvious and strategic one. Both companies operate in close proximity within Zelenograd, a city often referred to as Russia's Silicon Valley. The location allows for seamless collaboration, efficient logistics, and shared technical expertise. Between the years 2020 and 2022, NM Tech acquired and modernized the former facilities of Angstrom T, an earlier microelectronics enterprise, investing heavily in upgrading equipment and clean room infrastructure. Much of the refurbished machinery is optimized for 180 nanometer topologies, an established and dependable semiconductor process. Experts note that while the global race toward advanced nodes such as 65 or 28 nanometers continues, the creation or acquisition of entirely new fabrication plants for those technologies demands vast resources, long lead times, and international supply chains that remain constrained by sanctions. The 180 nanometer node remains one of the world's most widely used mature semiconductor processes. It is not at the cutting edge of transistor density or feature miniaturization, but it occupies a critical space where cost, durability, and reliability matter more than peak performance. Integrated circuits produced at this level are especially suited for automotive electronics, industrial controllers, power management chips, light-emitting diode drivers, display control circuits, and various types of sensors. The complementary metal oxide semiconductor process at 180 nanometers, for example, is known for its ability to handle high voltages and operate in extreme conditions. One well-known international example is the XH018 process developed by XFAB Semiconductor Foundries, which is used in automotive-grade mixed analog and digital designs, as well as in specialized sensors like single-photon avalanche diodes that support light detection and ranging technologies. In Russia, both Micron and NM Tech have been integrating the 180 nanometer and neighboring nodes, such as 130 nanometers, into their domestic technological infrastructure. These nodes are increasingly used for the production of microcontrollers, secure microchips for banking and identification, telecommunication processors, and control devices for industrial and aerospace systems. With the introduction of strict import substitution policies and ongoing sanctions, Moscow has made it clear that strengthening indigenous production capabilities has become a national priority. The Russian Ministry of Industry and Trade, also known as MinPromTorg, has designated the 180 nanometer node as a key target for domestic equipment and material development. Government-backed programs are now funding everything from local lithography tools to the raw chemicals used in chip fabrication. The 180 nanometer node 
occupies a crucial middle ground between older, well-understood technologies like 250 or 130 nanometers and the more advanced 65 or 28 nanometer nodes. For Russia, it serves as both a practical choice and a stepping stone. The process is easier to establish because its supply chains and production methods are less complex than those required for newer technologies. In the current climate of export restrictions and limited access to high-end extreme ultraviolet lithography equipment, mastering these mature nodes provides a feasible and strategically sound path forward. Many of Russia's key technological applications, ranging from military avionics and space hardware to industrial automation and the Internet of Things, do not require extreme miniaturization. They instead depend on stability, resistance to temperature variations, and longevity under stress. For these uses, the 180 nanometer process provides the optimal balance between performance and resilience. Its larger transistors can better withstand radiation and thermal fluctuations, making it a reliable choice for satellites, defense systems, and mission-critical infrastructure. Building competence at the 180 nanometer level also strengthens Russia's foundation for technological independence. Developing domestic capacity for research and development, process control, design software, and semiconductor equipment ensures that the country can eventually move to finer nodes without depending on foreign suppliers. As part of this effort, Russia is investing in the creation of chemical, mechanical polishing equipment, essential for smoothing dielectric and metal layers in chips with feature sizes between 180 and 90 nanometers. Such investments not only fill immediate needs, but also build industrial know-how for the next stages of advancement. Another major advantage of the 180 nanometer process is its relatively short time to market. When urgent demand arises for critical products such as secure smart cards, national identification systems, or defense electronics, it is far easier to ramp up production using existing 180 nanometer facilities than to wait for new factories designed for smaller nodes. Given that modern semiconductor plants can take years to design, finance, and construct, this approach ensures continuity of supply and economic stability. The Russian government has formally recognized the strategic importance of these mature semiconductor nodes as part of its national policy on technology sovereignty. Funding initiatives now support the localization of production equipment, measurement tools, and specialized software with a focus beginning at the 180 nanometer level. The Moscow Institute of Electronic Technology, known as MIE, along with other state research bodies, is coordinating multiple projects aimed at replacing imported fabrication machinery. One such initiative includes developing local chemical mechanical polishing systems for the 200 mm wafer format used to manufacture chips in the 180 to 90 nanometer range. These research programs, backed by the Ministry of Industry and Trade, are designed to minimize import dependence and reinforce domestic expertise, especially as sanctions limit access to Western components. Yet, even with its strengths, the 180 nanometer technology has inherent limitations. It cannot match the power efficiency, processing speed, or transistor density achieved by the world's most advanced 5 or 7 nanometer nodes. This means it is unsuitable for applications like cutting edge artificial intelligence accelerators, mobile system on chip processors, or high performance computing servers. Nonetheless, Experts agree that these advanced products represent only a fraction of global semiconductor demand. The vast majority of devices, automobiles, sensors, power controllers, and embedded systems, continue to rely on mature nodes like 180 nanometers, where cost-effectiveness and endurance outweigh raw computational power. Despite this pragmatic approach, challenges persist. Developing dependable domestic tool production achieving high manufacturing yields, and maintaining consistent design productivity all require sustained investment and skilled labor. 
Russia's semiconductor engineers are now working to refine photolithography precision, wafer handling automation, and chip testing techniques to ensure output meets global reliability standards. Meanwhile, educational institutions such as MIT are expanding academic programs to train a new generation of process engineers, circuit designers, and materials scientists to sustain long-term growth. Competition on the world stage remains fierce. Foundries across Asia, Europe, and the United States continue to produce 180 nanometer chips in large volumes, but global demand is slowly shifting towards smaller nodes. Analysts believe Russia must balance its focus on mature node stability with incremental progress toward the development of more advanced manufacturing technologies. Strategic partnerships with neutral countries, combined with internal innovation, may offer a route for gradual evolution rather than abrupt leaps. In this broader context, Micron's decision to establish a 180 nanometer production line at NM Tech is far more than a short-term solution to immediate demand. It symbolizes a deliberate and structured strategy to build a self-sufficient semiconductor ecosystem that supports both civilian and defense industries. It is a calculated move toward technological sovereignty, where essential components can be designed, manufactured, and tested entirely within Russian borders. The project demonstrates how mature technologies, when applied strategically, can underpin national resilience and industrial continuity even under intense external pressure. 180 nanometers may not sound impressive in a world racing towards single-digit nodes, yet it represents balance a harmony of performance, reliability, cost, and manufacturability. In the Russian context, this process node serves as both a present-day enabler and a stepping stone to the future. By investing in local production tools, cultivating expertise, and maintaining disciplined progress, Russia aims to build a semiconductor framework capable of sustaining innovation under any geopolitical condition. It is a path defined not by haste, but by persistence, one layer, one wafer, and one carefully etched circuit at a time. In essence, the story of Micron and NM Tech illustrates how resilience can emerge from constraint. Through the deliberate strengthening of domestic manufacturing and the mastery of 180 nanometer technology, Russia is crafting the foundation for its independent microelectronics future. In a global industry often defined by speed, this approach instead values endurance and the quiet confidence that even mature technologies can still power a nation's technological revival. If you find this video informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take our membership to encourage us.